children have beautifully inquisitive minds and they cherish any special item they find while out in nature. You've probably observed this as a parent yourself, seeing your kids discover shells or coral at the beach or picking up odd stones during their walk to the local park. They are like little treasure hunters collecting natural objects all over. So what do you do with all those found materials? Well, there's a heap of ways you can use them, but one of my all time favorite ways to make use of natural treasures is to turn them into nature crafts. And that's what we'll be talking about today. If you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. I'm Penny Whitehouse, a mother of three daughters and the founder of Mother Nature, a website that helps you cultivate happier and healthier children by connecting them with nature. If you would like to learn how to get your kids off their screens more and give them a childhood with real world experiences, sign up to the Nature Play Club waitlist. It will be opening soon. Last week, I shared 10 nature art ideas. So if you'd like to see those too, be sure to head over and see that here. If you didn't watch my last video, you may be wondering what's the difference between nature art and nature craft activities. And that's a valid question because we often use the two interchangeably. Essentially, art is more unstructured and open-ended while craft usually involves the creation of physical objects. So art relies on artistic merit, whereas craft is based on learned skill and technique. As I said, if you're looking for those less structured art activities, you can head over to this video for those lovely ideas. I'll add the link to the description below. Number one, nature crowns. Children love producing items with their hands and if they get to wear it, they're even more invested in creating something that suits their unique style. After they're made, children tend to use them as props in play too. But what I really love about nature crowns is that they are always beautiful, no matter the level of complexity or simplicity. Number two is butterfly and nature craft. I was lucky enough to get the creative gene in my family and I was inspired to make this nature butterfly after I visualized it in my head one day. I made one first and when my daughter saw it, they were so excited, so I helped them to make their own. If your child has an interest in butterflies, this craft will enchant them. You will need a glue gun, so be sure to take that little bit of plastic off when you retire it to the compost or give it back to the earth. If you're curious how we store our nature crafts, you might like to watch this video after you finish this one. Number three, bug hotel. Tap into your child's affection for bugs by teaching them all about the many creatures that help our local gardens and our greater ecosystems. You may also like to encourage their interest by making this bug hotel. It's super simple to build and it will add some artistic flair to your backyard. You might like them so much that you wanna produce more than one for your garden. The good news is it costs almost nothing to make this bug hotel with your kids, only a little bit of time and effort. Plus, the kids will love using a drill with you. Number four, character nature crafts. If your child is enthusiastic about a certain character right now, whether it be a Disney princess or a talking tank engine, or maybe it's just a, a sweet teddy bear on TV, then this craft may be a real hit. You're going to have to get a little creative to set it up though. So here are some examples. If you and your children are openly or secretly Pokemon mad, I'm sure you'll enjoy them unplugging to get a little hands-on by making these nature-inspired Pokemon crafts. Or perhaps their favorite book right now is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl, in which case they can enjoy making a naturally created hungry caterpillar of their own. There are so many possibilities. Number five, weaving a basket with natural materials. Your child may struggle with this activity to start off, but that's all the more reason to give it a go. Weaving with nature develops a child's fine motor skills, and once they master this process, they too will learn that perseverance pays off. Don't push them though. Just let them try weaving a basket on their own, and if they don't finish it, they can always try it another day. My girls will often get disengaged with the activity and then when I'm making another basket again, they're out and they're ready to have another go. So get outside, collect some weeds and make your own. I'm sure your kids will join you. It's such a beautiful time to reconnect with your child and celebrate the season. If you want to learn how to make a basket with natural materials, I've made a video tutorial on this for you. In fact, I've added links to all these crafts in the description should you be looking for more inspiration or want to learn about a specific craft activity. 
If weaving a whole basket is a little overwhelming right now, but you still really would like to learn about weaving or show your children how to weave, then these nature weaving frames are really pretty and they're really easy to make. And you just use a recycled uh, photo frame. So these are perfect for younger children and I'll make sure the link is in the description below for those as well. Number six, earth moss ball. If your kids love messy play, they will adore this craft. Sphagnum moss has this interesting texture and holds a heap of water, making it so much fun to play with. Kids especially enjoy wringing out the seaweed-like material and adding the moss on. So if your kids love messy play and want something to hang in their room and take care of, this is such a great nature craft for them. And your kids will love spraying their moss ball each day to keep the moss lovely and green. Number seven, leaf softy. Children are fascinated by leaves. With all those different shapes, sizes, textures, and colors, there's a lot to discover. If your child loves leaves, perhaps they would enjoy a homemade leaf toy to snuggle up to at night too. There is some sewing in this activity, so it's likely your child will need supervision, but that means you can join in the fun. If you're not a confident seamstress, rest assured that this project is very simple and completely hand sewable if you'd prefer to avoid the machine. Number eight, nature fairy. I couldn't resist adding a nature fairy into the mix. They are so enchanting and so much fun to make. Creating these fairies is a similar process to creating the butterfly craft I've already mentioned, but you might like to make them together so that your children will play with them at the same time. We made three fairies, all uniquely beautiful. So make as many as you like. Number nine, rock painting. Now I was late to the rock painting craze, but it's still really popular today. So set up a painting space outside and pull out a few rocks from your garden and see if your child might like to get a little crafty. You could make these space rocks or flower rock puzzles. We don't waste our rocks, we paint on both sides, which makes them extra engaging and awesome for storytelling. Number 10, nature boats. Every child should make a nature boat and watch it float down a creek, an easement, or even in their backyard pool. It's a rite of passage, and I'm sure you'd remember doing the same when you were a child yourself. Nature boats build fine motor development and promote problem-solving skills. Children feel a sense of accomplishment when they make something with their hands, especially considering that it must meet certain requirements to work properly. Every child remembers the moment that their boat, even after multiple trials, finally floats. So definitely add this project to your list for the next time it rains. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. I would love it if you just did a heart and a nature emoji, or better yet, if you could tell me what nature craft you would really love to try with your kids, I would love to hear about it. I really appreciate your comments and would love to learn more about you and what you'd like to see more on this channel. So let me know. I hope you enjoyed these nature craft ideas for kids. Again, if you would like to get more inspiration, head over to my website, mothernature.com. And if you would like to cultivate a childhood filled with memories in nature, not to mention all the benefits that nature play provides for your kids, join the waitlist for the nature play club. I'll add the link below. It's time to add a pinch of adventure, a sprinkle of sunshine, and a big handful of outdoor plates.